was a tough road for the Giants, but Big Blue made it to the Super Bowl Sunday. Last time they went, though, it was back in 1990. We were at war in the Middle East and facing a major recession. Can you say, uh, like Groundhog Day? Now, history seems to be repeating itself, but today's economy isn't all bad news. If you know what to look out for, Charles Massimo is a wealth management advisor and the president of CJM Fiscal Management. Get that all on, on a card, too. <laughs> He's here to explain what the Giants can teach us about making good decisions with our own money. Welcome. Sure. Good Fun. to see you again. Thank you. What's uh, very similar to what we were in financially back then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's somewhat, it's somewhat uncanny when you look at all the similarities to uh, 1990 until today. And again, as you said, there are a lot of lessons we can learn, and the first one has to do with predictions. You know, at the beginning of the year, the so-called experts were predicting the Giants at best to be 8-8. Eight and eight. Right. And, and, you know, the first thing we tell our clients, you know, predicting the economy, the stock market, market is a lot harder than predicting where the Giants are going to finish. So as, a, as an investor and as a consumer, you kind of have to keep everything intact. You have to keep your emotions intact and, and ignore the so-called experts who really get it right, but instead tailor things that are based on your personality, your time horizon, and what you're trying to accomplish out of, out of your financial goals. And, you, and what you said, that don't get excited, you have to be patient. Sometimes you have to sit on something a little longer that maybe you like and don't go with what the economists say. Yeah, I, absolutely. And again, if, if we look back at 19 1990, the economy was so bleak as it is now. You know, use the uh, word underdog. I mean, the Giants are a big underdog right now, and uh, it's those who kind of get behind the underdog reap the greatest benefits. And in 90, when the economy was real bleak, if you had the patience and had the wherewithal and had the discipline to get behind the economy and get behind the stock market, the years following the Giants win, we saw some of the most robust growth this country has ever seen. And we're doing some things right now similar with rate cuts and stimulus packages right. to set ourselves up for some significant gains moving forward. What did well back then, do you remember? I mean, what, what to, when you said get behind the economy, what, what was the thing to throw your money at? Sure. Well, I think regardless of what time you look at in period, it doesn't matter. If you want to participate in robust growth, what always works well is not trying to pick individual stocks or individual sectors because that's too risky. What you need to understand is you have to have a real broadly diversified portfolio that hits all the major type of sectors like consumer staples like financials, even international stocks, because we're now one global economy. When the economy recovers, it's no more just the U.S. is going to recover, the world is going to recover. So as an investor, you need to be diversified amongst all the sectors to be able to participate in that turnaround when we see it. If you're just getting going, maybe maybe a financial, a mutual fund? Sure, mutual fund is always the best way to have broad diversification. And again, you want to have some U.S. stocks, you want to have some international stocks, you want to have some what's called emerging countries, right. because that's where we're seeing great growth in, in countries like Brazil and in China. But again, the, you know, whether it's 1990 or, or 2008, the way to be a successful investor is to control the motions and have a real broadly diversified portfolio. Exactly what the Giants have to do today, right? Control absolutely. their emotions and spread the football. Uh, absolutely. All right. Go Giants. There you go. Are you Jonathan? Absolutely. Big time. There you go. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Uh, for more on how you can turn uh, being an, uh, turn into an economic underdog into a big win for yourself, head to our website, WCBSTV.com. Click on the links and the numbers. Mary? Hi, Steve. Hollywood writers could soon be off the picket lines back to work. A source close to the ongoing negotiations between writers and producers says a deal could be reached as early as this week. The two sides have reportedly come to terms on compensation for material on the Internet. The three-month-old strike has brought much of the entertainment industry to a halt. Protecting celebrities and their families still ahead.